What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FIFA 22 video. It is about to be 6pm, it is now 6pm on Saturday. Um, EA gave, I don't know if everyone or not, I didn't read the thing, but EA gave people a loan icon pack for either Pele, Cruyff or Pushkas. Um, I'm going to say Cruyff because I think I already have a loan Pele. Um, so go get onto your account and, and check that out and get involved in that. But uh, let's see if we have anything for today. Daily Objectives is there. Chakweze, Guri and Shalaba are still there. There is no new event for today. Is there any fun packs in the store? I've got three. That's uh, yeah, champ, uh, draft packs. Some promo packs, man. But that's it. Minimum guarantee of an 83. 50k coins spent. What we say in EA? Oh, yeah. Give me that walkout. What's that, like 10k, 12k? Let's go, baby. Oh, yeah. The free and Tiago. I'm in the, I'm in the big money, mate. Ah, oh, you want to chill with the big boys. You know what I'm saying? Um, so nothing too cool in the store. And that leaves SBCs. Do we have anything new for today? Upgrades? No. Icons? No. No new icons today. League SBCs, I mean, they've only ever come out on Thursday, so I don't know why they put them in now, but it was worth checking. And so live content, Tanganga. This is the player pick, right? Yeah, see, we saw him in concepts yesterday. Um, we'll go and have a look at him in a second. Is there anything else outside of Tanganga? Middle Prime Icon Upgrade is still there. The Future Stars Challenge 6 is still there. Future Stars Challenge 7 is now there. For a rare election players pack, probably 10 or 11 rares needed for this one. Only one. That's in Wow, that's really interesting. 75 rated squad, 85 chemistry, one rare, same country maximum three, same league maximum seven. That is really easy and really affordable. That won't cause many player prices to spike. That's quite good from EA. Um, and that is it. That is it. So Future Stars, Future Stars Challenge 7. And then we've got Tanganga with three requirements. 81 rated, 80 chemistry, one Spurs player. 83 rated, 70 chemistry, a Premier League and a Team of the Week player. And 85 rated with a Future Stars and 65 chemistry. The packs back are really poor. But let's have a look at the actual card. Now, like I say, he was in concepts yesterday. So I think he's... Uh, I think he's already been like looked at and the player pick is either left back or right back the cards are identical we've got the left back left footed two star three star the right back right footed two star three star otherwise they are the same card so how good is he well off first glance he actually looks fantastic doesn't he i think good good short pass long pass and vision for a fullback. Really nice dribbling for a fullback. Good agility, good balance. How tall is he? 5'11". Average body type. He's got real nice physicals. Maybe a little low on stamina. Defensively decent. Got, I mean, two obvious choices. The anchor. Oh, look at that 93 centre-back. Could play him there. Have they got different work rates? Medium high for the left-back. High high for the right-back. That's interesting, isn't it? Wow, they have got different work rates. So high, high on the right back. And then high, medium on the, the left back. High defensive work rate, medium attack. Do you know what? I would probably take the left back just for the fact that he's medium high. I, I like... It. You could even play him at centre back. You could play him at centre back. With a shadow. Top pace. Very good defending. Decent physicals, passing and decent dribbling. With an anchor. I think as a fullback, he's probably better suited with an anchor. Because it just gives him that strength and aggression, that jumping. Um, Obviously, the stats are the same either side. So I guess it depends. What, what I suppose I do like about this position change is... That you've got the option to go left back or right back. Now, there are a lot of very good fullbacks in the Premier League. In fact, there's a lot of good... English fullbacks as well. Um, obviously, you've got Kieran Trippier at right back, the uh, the special Kieran Trippier. You've got all of those Trent cards, 
Now, is he better than Trent? Better dribbling, same defending, better physical, better pace, and very similar passing to this one with uh, less passing than these two. So he's, he's probably akin with that Trent card. He's got more pace than Trippier, more dribbling, more defending, more physical, less passing again. But overall, I'd say the right back is better than Trippier and Trent's. Probably on a par with this Trent. Um, as for James, more pace, less dribbling, more defending, more physical, less passing again. This, this James card is probably the most similar to Tanganga. And James is a tradable card, but it is a headliner. So he has that opportunity to be upgraded. But I suppose it gives that little understanding of how expensive it would be on the market. The same with Carl Walker. Um, you know, he's got a little bit less pace than Walker, but more dribbling, more defending, more physical, more passing. So I think Tanganga on the market probably would be about 100k for the right back. Uh, as for the left back, or for the Premier League right backs, opposed to um, the English right backs, Zhao Cancelo... Why is Tanganga not here, but he was on the England ones? 92, 86, 87. He's, he's, he's arguably... Again, Jao Cancel is a headliner, so it gives him a bit of value. And he's four-star, four-star, which gives him a lot of value. But he's arguably, like, there, you know? And then the right-backs otherwise are basically the same. Like, Azpil Equator, he's a bit better than Azpi. He's way worse than Tommy Asu. I don't know how Tommy Asu is only 50k coins. Um, and then for left back side of things, in England, you don't have many choices for English left backs. You've got Ashley Cole, mid prime, and baby, and I think Tanganga is better than all of them. Um, you've got Luke Shaw, Tanganga's got better pace. Same defending, better physical, one less dribbling, one less passing. I, I guess in, in a regard, quite similar, quite very similar to Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw is an objective, three star, two star. High medium work rates. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, I mean, very similar, actually. Similar passing attributes, similar dribbling attributes. Luke Shaw has a lot more composure. And then we've got the Premier League left-backs instead. I mean, that Robertson is, is a beast. And again, I don't know why Tanganga's not in this, this area here, but... I mean, Tyranny is a beast and very similar. Shaw is very similar. I think there's way better left-back alternatives. No, do you know what? There's not. There's le there's better Premier League left-backs, but better English slash Premier League right-backs. It's... <sighs> what I like about the Tanganga SBC is that he is, he's got very good stats. He's easily linkable at the left side or the right side. And he is actually quite cheap. The 81 rated squad with no inform needed is a good price. No inform at all. Just an 81 rated squad with a Spurs player. That's so cheap, right? So that's basically like 10k. An 83 rated squad with an inform is going to be about 20, maybe 25k. So you're looking at 35k. And then an 85 rated squad with a future star is going to be the most expensive squad. Maybe like 50k, 60k. So it's going to be about 100, 120k for this SBC altogether. Um... It, it, like, listen, if you're looking for left back, if you're collecting Spurs cards or something like that, this is a good option. If you've already got a big left back or a big right back from the Premier League, a tripper or something like that, this isn't going to be somebody that's upgrading your team. This is definitely going to be a side grade. But it's a decent card. I don't mind it. Sadly, that is all of the content for today. The Future Stars Challenge is, is good. This is upvoted as well. Nice as well. So, yeah, that'll be the end. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.